You know, there was this cliche about people with disability having kind of some sort of another sense, like, okay, like, that's a marvel. In the middle of flickering pages of Action Comics appears the logo Marvel in bold letters. I think I see it in my dreams. My brain is filling the gaps and inventing the information that I might not have visually. So you're not blind in your head, like, because in your head you see. Um, well, I assume, especially when you've been growing up as a blind person, you often get asked the same questions like, oh, how can you use a mobile phone? Hi, Siri. Know how can you use a laptop or something like that. It's more like, it's not necessarily embarrassing questions, but it's just like, well, you know, I've been, I've been living with blindness for 27 years now. So if I couldn't live on my own, if I couldn't even cook for myself, I wouldn't even be here outside in Toronto. I'm more positive on access on IT than on finding a job. It doesn't make you inferior or superior to other people. It just makes you different and you learn to use it at your advantage. I'm from France and Ireland. I usually travel by myself because I kind of prefer it because you, you get the opportunity to meet new people and I try to contact uh, blind organizations that might be able to do some social things with me, mobility training and this kind of stuff. I was thinking if one day I get attacked or whatever, I just turn off the lights so the person might be lost. So. <laughs>